All right, guys, we're back for some more Dokkan Battle, 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 Battle. And we're going to be continuing the Battle of Gods uh, story event today. Uh, I do have an update that I wanted to show you guys uh, since the last time I recorded. Uh, it was a Friday slash Saturday, so I was able to pop up a bunch more LR Goku medals. Now, I busted my ass, and I couldn't even get 200 medals in that, what, 24-hour time period? So, right now, it is the 12th of February. I think, realistically, I might barely cross the threshold on the... Uh, the, the, the is it going to be the uh, 18th of February? I might just barely cross the threshold of getting enough medals to Dokkan LR Goku. And then, probably, then on the 25th, I'll record the LR Goku event, uh, the three stages. I'll do the first two stages in one video, and then the second video, I'll do the third stage, along with awakening our Goku into LR Goku. So that will be very, very hype, because, I mean, I'm not really complaining about it too much, but I just, I've got terrible luck. This is well documented. So I just get a lot of really bad drops, but I've long since come to terms with my terrible luck, and instead I just fight through it. So I do get about five medals per run, where you get, I've seen 5, 7, 10, 15, and 20. I've gotten 20 once, I've gotten 15 twice, and I think I've gotten 10 once. All the rest have been 7 and 5. Hey, you never know. If I'm super lucky next weekend, actually, I probably could uh, get him to LR status next weekend. We'll see, though. All right, now, I actually also have two Dokkan Awakenings that we can do. Uh, our Trunks here, I got him up to Super Attack 6. Now, you only need two of these bad boys. Uh, you need two Trunkses. You know, this is one of the Super Strike cards. Just two of them that equal 15 Super Attack. So, minimum to awaken one of them, I would want them to have at least five Super Attack. This Trunks has six. So, let's go ahead and Dokkan him into this form right here. Uh, and then next week, I can go ahead and uh, try and get him back up to, like, a uh, second one with enough super attack levels and then combine them to create a 15 super attack one. Now, there actually is two big things coming up this week that I'm gonna record. One is actually a new super strike event, a Xeno Trunks version. And then there also is the Omega Shenron is gonna become available, a summoning banner and a boss fight, which will be super, super dope. Uh, all right, so let's take a look at this Trunks real quick. Um, we're probably not gonna use them now. Uh, Shining Slash, Attack and Defense. That's not the worst. I mean, if you're free to play, you definitely could get some use out of this guy. And yeah, at Super Attack 15, he launches a Super Attack at 9 key, which is pretty solid. That's not so bad. Uh, we also have Tau up here, but I got to Super Attack 7. Now, I remember the last couple times I did that Tau event, I was getting really, really lucky with the drops. So, you know, that's fucking good, I guess. Yes, all of you go in there. Now, it's funny. I have so many of the strength medals, uh, you know, the rare medals, the super rare medals, the ultra rare medals, because of all the times I did that Buhan boss event. Because if he didn't drop the Buhan card, he would sometimes drop the different strength medals. So I have a lot of those. Uh, I'm talking about these Buhans right here. I've still got so many until we actually pull our Buhan. And real quick, before we hop into the Battle of Gods event, we're going to do four sages today. Let's go ahead and take a look at our new Cyborg Tau. Uh, huge damage, or a chance to stun, and I believe he also launches a super attack when key is 9 or above. High chance of attack 70. I think that's around a 50% chance, is high chance. So, not bad, not bad. I guess you could say uh, a coin flip 50-50 would qualify as high, right? Because it's literally one or the other. So, I, I, I'm okay with that. Uh, okay, so Battle of Gods. I don't think this is going to be around for too much longer. But there's not really a whole lot that this event has to offer, honestly. Oh, hey, look! That Goku right there! Wow, why is someone using this Goku? This is one of the World Tournament rewards. Uh, he, I believe he was a the reward for the very first Japanese World Tournament. He actually get, got a Dokkan Awakening recently. Uh, we're not going to use him for now. Let's just use a Gogeta, and we'll bring this team. Uh, definitely don't need all of this. This was all my shit for LR Goku, actually. Running out of Fruit of the Tree, I might... We'll keep one Senzu, and you... 
you and you. That's good. All right, let's jump in. Now, of course, these stages offer very little in terms of resistance for us, which is not surprising. I mean, we have to do these. Oh, I love that art right there. Wow, so look at that. So that card art, that, if you guys recognize, is the Tech Ultimate Gohan that we won from the 11th World Tournament. Uh, that was the first tournament I actually participated in. Uh, this event was out way before uh, that World Tournament was, by the way. So that's interesting that his art has been in here for that long. I'm mildly confident that that Goku is actually going to finish uh, Fat Boo off here. All right, so here, this is actually the Goku I got from this uh, Battle of Gods event. I believe this is supposed to be Goku after uh, the Super Saiyan God power wears out during his battle with Beerus. That's what that one is supposed to be right there. Oh, our androids. Uh, now, as far as the uh, status of getting the LR androids, again, we're just waiting on the full power Frieza event to return. And I'll have enough medals to make them LR. Uh, that will actually... That's going to be here very soon. I think uh, the latest we'll see that is somewhere like uh, March 5th, 6th, 7th. Somewhere in that area. And the soonest... You know, they probably won't. But I guess I could see it possibly being like uh, a week or maybe two after Omega Shenron drops. Omega Shenron, he comes out on the 14th of February. So that's going to be very hype. Uh, there are many new cards that are going to get released along with Omega Shenron. There is a new Super Saiyan 3 uh, GT Goku. There is a actually a, a Super Saiyan 3 GT Vegeta card. Obviously, another one of those what-if cards. Uh, that Vegeta is actually really good. I wouldn't mind pulling him. But, of course, you know, let me not say like, oh, yeah, I'd love to pull him because I will not be pulling on that banner absolutely not uh, i'd love to get omega shenron but we will be continuing to save our stones for the rose goku black banner i'll tell you guys this i honestly thought for a little bit you know what fuck it i'm not gonna summon on the rose goku black banner i'm gonna keep saving until uh the super saiyan 4 has come out but i was really thinking about it and this is the truth okay the number one reason I'm not going to do that, and I am indeed going to summon on that Rose Goku Black Banner, is because I have hyped it so fucking much right here in these videos that there's no way I'm now then going to be like, okay, well, guess what, fuckers? Now we're continuing to not summon and we're going to wait. Because guess what? The summoning videos, I feel like those are the most exciting aspects of Dokkan. I mean, I do like doing some of these boss events because I love tactical RPGs, you know, the Final Fantasy Tactics, Shining Force, Fire Emblem, things along those lines. I just love that tactical, you know, that sense. And, you know, th th it does these really tough fights. You can get a little tactical with where exactly you use your item, you know, where you're going to put blockers, etc. It it's fun. It's fun. But... I feel like the number one reason people like to watch Dokkan videos is they like to see other people uh, pull. Mostly, I feel like a lot of it, no offense to anyone, but a lot of it is salt. It's like, it's like, okay, I've been saving up so much for Vegito Blue. And then you spend 200 stones and you don't get them. And then you go look up one of the Dokkan YouTubers and it's like, oh, this bastard, I better not pull him. And then like you see like D Free. I love D Free. And D Free pulls him the very first multi summon. I feel like people get so salty. Shout out to my man D Free. I love him. He's great. He has the best luck of any Dokkan uh, YouTuber I've seen. But also, I would say, let me not just say that. He also, in my opinion, is the best uh, Dokkan player I've seen. He is very good because he always does events. Like, uh, here's an example. Omega Shenron is, you know, like strength. So like D3, he would try and go through like the Omega Shenron event with like a, you know, all physical team. Or, you know, Golden Frieza was tech. So he'd go through that with, uh, you know, an all blue, uh, a Vegito team, an agility team. Or base form Goku Black, is physical so he try and go through that with a buhan team um i got a lot of respect for d3 for doing that that's uh always impressive let's have uh you know what i actually should have swapped uh some of these cats out because i do kind of want to show off 
uh, different super attacks and stuff. And we've already seen Turles and this Super Saiyan Goku right here. Because, you know, I want to... When I'm going through these story events, especially when it's a story event that we have to do on normal to get kind of the story dialogue, I do like to swap out these characters. Um, especially since I've got a bunch of new ones. Well, new-ish from that last tournament. Okay, well, here we go. We could show off the androids. That's hype. Let's uh, do this. And bam. All right, so we got to use two items. That's not a problem. So we'll get to see our LR androids in action. Well, these are only the SSR version because, of course, first you have an SR version and you Dokkan Awaken that into an SSR version. And then you Dokkan Awaken that into your TUR version. And then you Dokkan Awaken that into your LR version. And then eventually, um, that LR, I, I think that LR could be pretty fucking nasty whenever the uh, villain version of Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta comes out. Because, I mean, the LR androids, Rose, Goku, Black, you know, maybe that Agility Golden Frieza, and then whoever the villain Agility card... You know, let's just say it's Girl Brawly. How about that? Girl Brawly as the villain uh, Agility leader, just like Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. That would be fucking hype, man. That shit would be so cool. Okay, so now we are moving on on to Vegeta's, or excuse me, Vegeta's Prido. I am. I do kind of do want to bring this Goku. Why is someone using him as a leader? Is what I want to know because most of the people on my friends list now are around my level. Like this almost seems like this guy is trolling. I'm gonna use it, but this seems like this guy is trolling. Uh, let's get rid of these guys. Let's bring in Yamcha from Dragon Ball. How's about we bring in... Uh, da, 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 da. Who's someone we haven't really used? How about this uh, Imperfect Cell right here? Uh, we can get rid of the androids as well. And we will bring in... Da, 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 da. Maybe, you know, just someone who we haven't seen in a while, I suppose, would be okay. Hmm, give me someone someone interesting how about super vegeta yeah why not uh i actually all of this super vegeta is a drop in the hero and villain event that comes around every once in a while and he's actually farmable now i actually farmed up the Whis. i got him the super attack 10 and i farmed up hatchiak i got him the super attack 10 and i also farmed up the awakening medals for that super saiyan goku that we have who will get a Dokkan Awakening. Actually, it's probably going to be sometime in the next couple weeks, to be honest. Uh, I've already got the medals prepared for that. And until Rose Goku Black comes out and we do some summons on that, I probably will put that Goku on my team because I actually rather like him. Uh, he's able to super at... I believe it's 7 key. He can super at 7 key. He gives everyone 2 key, and I think he gives himself a 20% attack buff. He's actually a rather useful card. So, I'll have no problem running him. We'll see. Hey, maybe I'll pull Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. It could happen. Because I fully expect uh, the global version of Dokkan Battle to follow the lead that the Japanese version took. And give out hundreds of free stones, basically. Everyone always says, like, it's bullshit. Global gets global Dokkan gets shafted. Japanese Dokkan gets all of the good shit. And honestly, that's not really entirely true. Um, I really believe that the versions are... They get treated pretty much exactly the same. It's just people are always comparing uh, global Dokkan, which is, you know, a couple months behind, to the brand new super hype shit that the Japanese version gets. You know, for example... Right now, we're about to get Omega Shenron, who's still, even in the Japanese version of the game, he's one of the top units in the game, no doubt. But, you know, he's not Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta or Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He's just flat out not. So people, you know, they're like, oh, you know, Global sucks. Global never gives out stones, which is bullshit. Global gives out tons of free stones. And the second anniversary of Super Special, 
They, there's all types of rewards that I know are going to carry over to the global version. So any sad global players out there, uh, you know, who might be sad at the recent turn of events as uh, the Japanese Zokan got all the hot shit. Let, you know what? Let's use this Goku, actually, um, since he's a friend one anyway. And we only need two. Yeah, we've already seen that uh, just one super attack is enough to take them out on normal. Actually, although this uh, Goku right here, he's not a very high level. He's only like level 43, right? So perhaps I'll just uh, move this Cell over and we'll let him do this and Cell will get a super attack. Now that Cell I'm using right there, he actually will get a Dokkan Awakening himself. Um, it's the Dokkan Festival after Vegito Blue and Rose Goku Black. It's a brand new strength Cell that comes out who's really good. He's actually really, really good. And there's a Dokkan Awakening for uh, the Strength Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, uh, the brand new Cell, and then uh, that tech Cell that we've got right there. All right, so yeah, that was the scene, of course, where Beerus had slapped the shit out of Bulma and basically was like, fuck you. And then Vegeta, supposedly, his anger pushes his power past even Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And, you know, he momentarily fights Beerus. Uh, that actually creates some confusion because I believe <clears throat> the line is that Vegeta pushes Beerus to use, is it 10% of his power? It might be. And then, you know, don't get me started on the uh, Goku's a 6, Beerus 10, Whis is a 15. That thing that Toriyama said in an interview. They Believe it or not, they actually, that's in the dialogue in like stage 10 of this Battle of Gods event. That dialogue from Toriyama's uh, interview. But I am positive that is bullshit. There's Beerus is way, like if Super Saiyan God Goku is a 6... I would say Beerus is minimum a 20, and then Whis would be, you know, 25 or 30, based on the way Dragon Ball Super has progressed. I, I mean, because I think it is a very safe assumption that Goku, by the time of the Universal Survival Arc, is light years ahead of Super Saiyan God Goku from the beginning of the, uh, of Dragon Ball Super, considering all the training he's done with Whis. There's no way... Goku is anywhere near the level he was at the beginning of Super. And then that's further evidenced, I believe, by the power of Goku Black, which, remember, Zamasu steals Goku's body uh, from, you know, further down the line in Super after all that stuff's already happened. So, you know, it is what it is. Okay, let's see. Let's go with, I guess, any more Gogeta allies would be fine. Yeah, people are always using Gogeta. Uh, da, 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 da. we've used Super Vegeta, so we'll take him off, and we'll toss in. I'm not going to take a lot of time here. I'm just going to pick someone. We're going to take, uh, Brawly. Brawly Summer. All right, so here's where they use the Dragon Balls. This is actually a clever idea by Goku, uh, to use the Dragon Balls to find out what the Super Saiyan God is. And with this knowledge, they're able to actually, uh, you know, do the ritual, which is, uh, by the way, you know, everyone is always talking shit about GT, and I can't stand it anymore. GT has some good shit. The Super Saiyan God ritual, motherfuckers, is just the same thing that Gohan, Trunks, Goten, and the other Saiyans did in GT to power Super Saiyan 4 Goku up. It's the same fucking thing. It, it, go watch Dragon Ball GT. And watch how they power Goku up and then tell me that's so different from the, the ritual used to create Super Saiyan. God, it's the same damn thing. Oh, Beerus-sama. Yeah, that always is one great joke that I love is that Shenron is, like, terrified of Beerus. Like, he even, he recognizes Beerus right on the spot. Very, very good shit. Now, I believe it's in Dragon Ball Super, uh, they threw in a bullshit line of dialogue where Shenron mentions the Namekian Book of Legends, which is just never referenced again. It's like, hey, let's throw out this interesting little detail, and then we're just going to completely sweep it under the rug. Fuck that. We don't have time to talk about that. Oh, he vanished. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is very Goku. It's like, you getting all this, Vegeta? <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. Uh, he will become a Kami! A Kami-sama! Alright, I've taught you all. Bye! <laughs> yeah, ex excuse me, Beerus-sama. 
All right, so now they go ahead and do the ritual to try and create the Super Saiyan God. But of course, at first, it does not work because they kind of misinterpret what Shenron says a little bit about there being five Saiyans. It's that they need five Saiyans to put their energy into one, and then uh, they actually use Videl. Videl reveal. Oh, damn, I missed that gold capsule. Although it only would have just been a uh, awakening capsule uh, for one of these special medals here in the Battle of God story event. And I have no need of those whatsoever unless they're used in a future Dokkan Awakening, which is very possible, by the way. Because some of the old uh, GT medals are actually used to awaken that Super Saiyan uh, 6 7. Okay, so if we do a 3, we can get that gold uh, capsule. Uh, some of the old GT medals were used to Dokkan Awaken uh, Baby Vegeta. He becomes Super Baby 1. And then the Super Saiyan 3 Goku becomes uh, the, super, the Great Ape Goku, actually. So, you know, you never know. These still kind of whittle medals could be used later on. And also, I don't think I finished talking about how Videl reveals that she's pregnant with Pan. And that, you know, Pan, Saiyan energy, they basically use her to get the Super Saiyan God coming out. This one right here. Now, this exact uh, Super Saiyan God Goku, this physical one, you can actually get him. Uh, there is a card, which I have not been able to pull. Very fu It's very funny because it's a super common card. Um, a, uh, just a regular Super Saiyan Goku, and using the Battle of Gods medals, you can actually Dokkan Awaken that Super Saiyan Goku into this Super Saiyan God Goku right here. He's not very good, but, you know, it is still something I guess I would like to have. I'm sure we'll pull him eventually, because he is only a shitty SR that's super, super common. If I had to guess, we'd probably, uh, pull him in the ticket banner. Which is also going to be coming very soon. Yeah, Global Dokkan is so dead right now, unfortunately. There's just not a lot going on. But very soon, shit is about to explode the way it did on the Japanese version of Dokkan. We're going to get the Ticket Banner, Base Form Goku Black, Rose, Vegito Blue, the Dupe System, the Orb System, the Final Fantasy X Sphere Grid, whatever you want to call it. All of that shit is coming to Global Dokkan. The, my hype levels just cannot be contained. It's going to be so fucking sick nasty. Yeah, that line of dialogue right there, a world I couldn't have reached on my own. Uh, that basically is the line that the Super Saiyan God Goku that we have says. That Goku, by the way, I didn't realize. I've only, you know, I've actually really been dissecting a lot of Dokkan Battle cards lately. That Super Saiyan God Goku I have, the agility one, he is mega good, man. He's really solid. And I would say there's a decent chance he gets a Dokkan Awakening in the future. He's going to be a monster. Absolutely. Okay, yeah, we don't need any more Gogeta. Sorry. Okay, so next time we will go ahead and knock out the last four stages of the Battle of God story event. I will see you guys later. Have a good one. Later.